have I got a story to tell you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Is it about monkeys or, or bananas? <laughs> <laughs> Why, no. It's a story about my family. Oh, like when you were just a boy? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about me and my two <gasps> brothers. Oh, cool. cool. I want to hear. Okay. Three little pigs went out to play. Let's build a house made of straw today. Said one little pig and he built it. Yeah. Yep. Then he took a nap, but a wolf woke him up. Oh, huh? What? Oh, who is it? I see you in there. Uh -huh. I see you in there. Oh. Open the door, little pig, beware. Uh -huh. He knocked on the door. Let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house oh. in. And he did, and he laughed with a big mean grin. Ha ha ha! The straw was just too easy to blow away. <laughs> then I shall build a stronger house. Out to play went two little pigs. Let's build a house made out of twigs. Said one little pig and he built it. Yup. Then he took a snooze, but that wolf woke him up. Then nerve. <gasps> huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? I see you in there. You do? <laughs> I see you in there. Uh-oh. <gasps> Open the door, little pig. <gasps> Come in. Not by the hairs of my chitty chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house oh. in. And he did, and he laughed with a big mean grin. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Well, that didn't work at all. I think we need something stronger than straw or sticks. Mm -hmm. Just one little pig, and she had to think quick. Mm -hmm. I'll make my house out of sturdy bricks, said the third little and she built it right up. Then she took a snooze, but that wolf woke her up. <laughs> I see you in there. No, you don't. I see you in there. Big shot. Open the door, little pig. Beware. I don't think so. He pounded the door. Let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll Blow your house oh. And he tried and he tried and he tried again. <laughs> but but he couldn't do it because the bricks were too strong, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and the three little pigs lived happily for a long time in their <laughs> brick house. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Bananas in this story. Charlie. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
can see the smile upon my face. Every act of kindness makes the world a better place. <laughs> you see? It already is. <laughs> and with that, the great big lion let the little bunny go. That was nice of the lion. <laughs> yeah, but you'll never believe what happened next. <gasps> oh, oh my. <gasps> what happened? <gasps> yeah, <laughs> spill the dirt. <laughs> yeah. One day a hunter caught the lion in a <laughs> net. <laughs> and suddenly the lion began to really sweat. He roared and roared so loud that the bunny heard him cry. <laughs> Is that my friend the lion? Oh, goodness me, oh my. <laughs> Stretch. The hole became so big that the lion made it out. He looked at her in shock and said, What's this all about? Oh, well, that's what friends are for. Whatever do you mean? It's good to help a friend. I always keep my promises to the very end. I told you I'd repay you, Mr. Lion C. This is a gift that always sets you free. <laughs> See you free. <laughs> the lion purred, and they lived happily ever after. Like best friends? Yes, indeedy do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs>
porridge. Someone's been tasting mine too. And mine's all gone, oh goodness me. What's a baby bear to do? Oh dear. Have a look in the living room. Oh. Someone's been sitting in my chair <gasps> And someone sat in my chair too uh -oh. And oh my dear, what's happened here? My chair has come unglued! <laughs> I think we better go upstairs and see if there's someone up there Okay, follow me Someone's tried out my bed This isn't your average bed uh -oh. Someone's been sleeping in my bed And uh-oh, she's still there! <gasps> oh, <look. laughs> oh, I was just on my way out! Bye-bye! <laughs> Goldilocks ran to the woods And hid in the deep green glen The three bears locked their doors And never saw Goldie again and never saw Goldie again! Okay, <laughs> what a relief! <laughs>
Unlock the door and let Granny out! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! You big bad wolf! Granny! <laughs> well, Granny was scared, but she was okay! Oh yeah, oh yeah! And Little Red said... I learned a lesson today! Oh yeah, oh yeah! Don't talk to strangers! How about that? And Granny and Red had a nice long chat! Oh yeah, oh yeah! to the big bad wolf. They sent him away and he never came back. Phew! What a relief! Well, well, what happened to the basket of goodies she brought to Grandma's house? Uh, anything left for me? Oh, yes. Charlie! <laughs>
There lived a little girl, red riding hood. Had to visit grandma, sick in bed. So off she went with a basket of bread. Side of the woods. Wolfie arrived at Grandma's house, crept through the door like a little mouse. Grandma saw the wolf, then she screamed oh! and ran into the closet so she couldn't be seen. I will wait just right here for Little Red Riding Hood to appear. Clever wolf I am to pretend that I am dear grandma sick in bed. <laughs> I hope Red Riding Hood gets here fast and rescues me. This wolf is bad. Just then, Red Riding Hood arrived at grandma's house. She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed. Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed. I brought you some yummy bread. Dear, I'm feeling sick. Come a little closer. Take a look. Grandma, you don't seem yourself. What can I do to help? I must have a nasty bug. Climb on the bed and give me a hug. Grandma, what big eyes you have. Big eyes to see you. Grandma, what big ears you have. Big ears to hear you. Grandma, what big teeth you have. Big teeth to eat you. <laughs> Poor little Red Riding Hood. Thankfully, a lumberjack was passing by and heard her cry. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come. Took a pee. 
peek. Oh my, so nice. There's a garden in there. But I'm too big to fit. It's really not fair. Alice found a bottle that said drink me. So she took a sip and turned tiny. She shrunk down to size and fit through the door. Now she could find adventures galore. There's a caterpillar on that big mushroom. I wonder if he's nice or if he's rude. Hello, little Alice. You're here at last. I'm a wise caterpillar. Let's have a chat. You're really quite pretty and very smart. But stay away from the queen of hearts. Stay away from the queen? Do that. Hey, look, there's a big old smiling cat. Hello, little Alice. How do you do? There's something I really must tell you. Everyone here is crazy and mad. That means you too. Now, don't be sad. I really don't think. Baby bear's porridge. Huh. 
Goldilocks had eaten her fill of porridge, she was feeling full and wanted to rest her feet. Papa Bear's chair looked much too hard. Mama Bear's chair looked much too soft. Baby Bear's chair was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. But Goldie was too heavy for Baby Bear's chair, and so... decided to go upstairs to lay down her golden head. Papa Bear's bed looked much too hard. Mama Bear's bed looked much too soft. Baby Bear's bed was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. Just as Goldie fell asleep, the three bears returned home to discover they were not alone. Someone's been eating Papa Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating Mama Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating babies too. Hmm, let's see. Oh, dearie me. You think you can help me? <laughs> you 
you're a silly, silly, tiny little mouse. Okay, I'll set you free. Wolf? 
Buggy, did you just take Huggy's apple? No. Hey, my apple's gone. It wasn't me. Well, Buggy, what's that? Um... Hmm. I think it might be a good time to tell you a story, Buggy. There was a boy who watched the sheep, the silliest boy you ever did see. One sunny day, who knows why, he thought for fun he'd tell a lie. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come, hurry, hurry, run, run, run. And up the hill, a farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. Farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. The very next day, at half past ten, the silly boy cried wolf, wolf again. And up the hill, the farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick. I played for fun. The farmer said, She here, young and don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. But that same day, at quarter past two, a big bad wolf came into view. Into the field, the wolf did creep to scare the boy and steal the sheep. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come. Hurry, hurry. No one came. The silly boy, he shook with fright. That wolf stole every sheep in sight. The little boy was very sad because he knew that he'd been bad. He decided there and then. I'll never, ever lie again. The most important thing to do is Always, always tell, tell the, the truth! <laughs> <laughs>
big teeth you have. The wolf said, Better to eat you with. And the big bad wolf, he never came back. Uh-huh. 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 We're safe now, Granny. The little girl said. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And she helped Granny get back in bed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They ate the cookies happily. And that's the end of our story. Uh-huh.